not right. The weapon that you just saw and are currently seeing gameplay of is called the Prismatic Hammer, and it is one of the science weapons in the Outer World. You get this weapon rather early on, I'd say probably in the first quarter of the game or so, so you can use it for the vast majority of the game. What makes this weapon so good is not its standard R2 attack, but its charged R2 attack, or power attack, that unleashes a wave of colors that is absolutely devastating in a line straight ahead. I'm not 100% sure how the attack modifiers or bonuses work in the Outer Worlds and work together, but it very, very much seems multiplicative, at least in this case, because you can get some staggering numbers. You can get over 50k easily if you build your character correctly. So the best way to get the maximum damage out of this weapon, which is just stupidly ridiculous, you could probably hit 100k under the right circumstances, but the best way to maximize this damage is to max science skill out at 100, have strength max when you create your character and have intelligence max when you create your character. This can increase melee damage by 30% and increase critical uh, damage by 35%, meaning every time you crit, you're going to do more damage, which you will on every strike with this. Perk-wise, you're going to want to use Weird Science, which boosts your science damage by 50%, and Wild Science, which is another 50% to science weapon damage. And you're going to want to use the perk Confidence, because this skill allows you to critically strike automatically after you kill an enemy. So if you kill an enemy with this shockwave, then you crit the next one, then you crit the next one, then you crit the next one, you never stop critting. So that makes that intelligence really help out and, and puts it to very, very good use. Additionally, if you play Lone Wolf, you can boost this damage by a further 25%. If you take Revenge and you have a status effect on you, you're going to increase your damage again by even more. So there are lots of ways to boost damage here. And also, you can tinker your weapon all the way up to level 35, to get its base damage extremely high. You won't be able to do that right away as you can only tinker up to five levels higher than what you are, but you're always gonna wanna keep this weapon five levels higher than you. And if you have science very, very high, 80 or higher, it's not gonna cost you very much to tinker this weapon at all. If you wanna get really, really silly, you can actually sneak attack things, put more points into sneak, so that when you're sneaking around, your sneak attacks hit for like an extra 70 to 100% damage. It's stupidly overkill, you don't even, it, it's just ridiculous at that point. You don't need to sneak around slowly and kill things when you can just run through them and smash them in the face with 20,000 damage and they die just the same as 60,000 damage. It's, it's silly. Just make sure you have extremely high armor when you're doing this and you can just speed run the game, just whack whack, just play whack-a-mole with these things. It's stupidly silly. I imagine this is going to get nerfed. I don't even know if it'll be nerfed before this video comes out, but it's going to be nerfed at some point because it's so ridiculously broken. Anyway, if you're looking for a good weapon to play the Supernova difficulty on, I cannot recommend this one enough. Get it, smash things, win.